Previously, we introduced the stasis, an ordered series of questions used to analyze sticking points in an argument or controversy. In this video, we'll discuss how to use this framework to reflect on the effectiveness of your writing, particularly to identify and anticipate potential sticking points and to better understand your audience. We often describe writing as putting our thoughts into words, as though readers can simply unpack our meaning from the text. But readers don't have access to the same internal resources we use when composing a text, such as our prior knowledge, memories, and emotions. Instead, they must construct meaning by interpreting our message using their own internal resources. The stasis can help you anticipate potential sticking points and prevent them in your writing, thereby narrowing this interpretive gap between writer and reader. We'll reflect on three qualities in your writing regarding the stasis. These include order, focus, and kairos. First, reflect on the order of your writing, particularly how your writing progresses through the stasis. Do you attend to first order matters before second order matters? Did you skip any matters that may become sticking points for your readers? As a writer, it's easy to take for granted the first order stasis, which include matters of fact, definition, and cost based on your own assumptions and beliefs. For example, if you have an emotional connection to your topic, you might feel compelled to skip past these foundational matters and express your positions in the second order stasis of value, action, and jurisdiction. However, some readers may be unable or unwilling to engage with your position at that level because they are stuck at an earlier stage. They may be uninformed about key facts or causes you skipped or may hold different definitions than those assumed in your argument. Moreover, jumping to conclusions regarding value, action, and jurisdiction without first examining how you arrived at certain facts or definitions, can not only undermine the rhetorical effectiveness of your writing, but cause you to build your own false assumptions or misunderstandings. Therefore, by identifying the aspects of the topic you covered and which you left out, you can revise your work to account for first things first, establishing the relevant facts and causes, and negotiating the definitions you'll be using. Second, while it's important to attend to each of the stasis underlying your message, you will likely focus on one or two stasis in particular. For example, authors of an epidemiological study introduce key facts and definitions and may conclude by considering potential actions, but their main focus is establishing the cause of a disease transmission. Authors of environmental policies, on the other hand, will attend to first-order stasis but focus primarily on spurring action from those with the power to intervene. In each case, the primary stasis reflects the author's goals and the audience they are trying to reach. Moreover, they reflect the expectations of readers within their particular genre, a scientific study and public policy respectively. As a student, you may be assigned a specific stasis for various writing projects, such as a literature review of key definitions, a proposal for action, or a lab report of observed facts. Your focus should reflect your goals and the audience you're trying to reach. Third, the main stasis of your argument signals the difference you want to make in the world with your writing. With that goal in mind, reflect on the kairos of your writing, meaning the opportune time and place for your message. This practice will be necessary for determining when and to whom you must deliver your message to achieve the desired result. Regarding the stasis of action, for example, a wildlife rescue group can organize messaging and activities to coincide with Earth Day, when people and companies are more likely to share information and donate to environmental causes. Discerning the opportune moment for your message also involves attending to jurisdiction. You might write a compelling call to action on an important issue, 
But if you address this message to readers with no ability to perform the action you are suggesting, then it won't get the result you're hoping for. By attending to issues of Kairos, you can target your message to maximize uptake on your call to action. As this video has shown, the stasis can help you refine the order, focus, and kairos of your writing. However, their uses are not limited to those covered in this video. For example, you could talk to friends and classmates about your topic, focusing on whether they have different perspectives or stances in each stasis. You could also role-play a skeptical reader who disagrees with your text using this process to identify potential sticking points and devise strategies for addressing them. Ask yourself, how can you use this thesis as a tool to improve your work? Everything you learn about rhetoric can be used for reflective practice to gain a richer sense of your writing and to better understand your audience.